we're going to talk about the last two commands in G code that we just briefly mentioned on, and that's for arc motion, G2 and G3. So if you want to do a circle or a semicircle or an arc of any shape, that is going to use the G2 and G3. If you're going clockwise around it, it is G2. And if you do counterclockwise around it, it's going to be G3. So in general, the procedure, and there's a couple ways to do this. I'm just going to cover one way to do it. You move to the beginning. So if this is the start, you move there with a G1 or a G0 command. So that's the start of the arc. So move to start. And then this is the end of the arc. That's what you put in the G2 command. So it's G2 and it's the X end coordinate and the Y end coordinate. And now here comes the tricky part. So not only do you have to know the beginning and the end, but you need to know the center. And the center is relative to where you're starting at. So if I start here, the center, and this is relative. These are absolute coordinates, the x end, y end. But the center is relative. So that's just going to be over this half of a diameter or one radius for this semicircle. And you maybe remember some of these crazy things that you learned in a math class. I hat, J hat, they're called unit vectors. And the I is in the X direction and the J is in the Y direction. And so this G2 command has an I and a J component that goes along with it. And that describes the center of the circle or the arc in terms of relative coordinates. So these are relative distances from the starting point. So let's say I w this starting point is, uh, we'll make it real simple. 0, 0. And let's say this ending point is 100, comma, 0. If the center point is at 50, 0, it's 50 units in the x direction. So the i is 50 and the j is 0. So we'll do another example. Now one thing that you might kind of think a little bit about if you want to get super mathy in here, that these two points, this could be the starting point and the ending point. Starting point, ending point. And you could have all different on this perpendicular bisector here. If you put the center down here, then the arc, because there's a radius and there's a radius, so that arc is going to swing relatively flat, like so. If you put the center up here, and you start here, and you end there, there's a radius, there's a radius. Remember that perpendicular bisector is equidistant to these uh, endpoints simple little uh, geometry proof. And so then the, uh, you're, you're going to get this big arc like this. So um, you know, we're, we'll, we'll just keep it relatively simple here. We'll, we'll just move the, okay, we're, we're, we'll put the center right in between them here. Um, and we're going to go right here for a center point. 
and then we'll just get a nice simple semicircle like this. And then we'll go clockwise. So that's a G2 command. And let's say that this starting point is at uh, 20 comma 100. And this ending point is 120 comma 100. And so the command would be, okay, maybe G1 X 20 Y 100. So I'm somewhere out here someplace, and so I'm maybe I'm right here, and so I go to 2100. So now I've cut right there. And now the G2, the ending point, is X120, Y100. But now it needs, uh, tacked on at the end here, I don't remember when to do it exactly. So um, it needs I and J. So the I and the J. So the center is over from 20 to 120. Half of that is 50. So it's over right 50 and up and down 0. So it's just that far from the starting point. Up and down is 0. And that will give me. And so this command, this combination of these two commands, really, getting to the starting point and then going to the ending point. If you want to do a whole circle, so I'm going to, uh, let's say that's at 50 and 60. So I would go G0, 50, 60, X, Y. And I want to go all around clockwise, Oops. kind of glitch in the pen, and there's the center. So I need the center. So however big that describes radius. So let's say that this has a diameter of four of, of forty. Okay, so diameter of forty. So this is that's twenty. So G two. I end at the same place I start. That's fifty. 60, so start here and here, and the I is 20, and the J is 0. So, um, pretty straightforward. If I want to do, let's say I want to do a quarter circle. And so here's the center. So starting point, ending point, center. So the center, G3, I'm going to have an X, I'm going to have a Y, I'm going to have an I, I'm going to have a J. So I, J is the relative. So this is 10, and this is 10, and this is, uh, so we'll, we'll call this B, uh, uh, 0, 10, and this will be negative 10, 0. So I'm going to go to the starting point, G0, X0, Y10. The ending point is x negative 10, y 0. i, i is the unit vector, remember, i hat. It's in the x direction. I don't move anything in the x direction. And j, I get to the starting point there. So that will give me a, like a quarter circle, these two commands. So it's always about relative positioning for that ij that can sometimes cause problems. But that's the G2 and G3 arc commands for the G code.